Hi right, guys, today we're going to be doing a small heater comparison, and if you look, you can see it on the left, right here is the Comfort Zone Personal Heater, and this is a Plonus Disc Furnace. These are years apart. <laughs> um, this is from 1989, and this is from, actually let me check, I haven't seen this. 2001, I believe. I think. Yeah. I'm thinking 2001 or something like that. It's old. But not nearly as old as this. Which is from 1989. And also, these things I'll put in wrong. I need to put them on the outside, not on the inside. Um. <coughs> and. Well. We're going to see which one is better. Well, we're just going to do a comparison. First of all, these both claim 1,500 watts. I know that this one probably draws more than this one does. This one was running not too long ago. This one just plugged in, so it's ice cold. This one is a little bit warm. Um, I ran it because it had been sitting in the breezeway, and when the lubricants get cold, it does not start up very well. And you have to run it for a little while to get it going. And I'll show the back of both. Um, two sets of controls. Two sets of controls on both of them. Fan. T-stat. Fan. Heat. Thermostat. And also adjustment for how fast you want to go put it on manual mode, which I'm going to leave it in for this video. Because I don't think that my automatic function works on my Polonis disc furnace. <coughs> Yikes, my area over here is a bit of a mess. Um, anyway. Um... I think we should start out on the comfort zone because it's farthest from the camera. And here we go. So the comfort zone has two indicator lights, one for caution. And one for power. Power. Mine has never worked. Well it has worked at one point. Sometimes it'll work from now. Now and then it'll work. And a caution one, which I've seen works. I accidentally put it in too small a space and it did trip the thermal overload and but I had to leave it off for a while and then it would reset and it started back up which is good because if I if it wasn't resettable I probably would not have the heater running today because I'm kind of lazy and this one I just got like less than a week ago so I don't have any stories with it I just used it for a while here. I used it downstairs today. This thing has a two bar switch, and this one does not. Oh, excuse me a second. Um. So this one has a tip over switch. This one does not, and this one the handle kind of vibrates. This one, the handle is really built into the heater, so it does not vibrate. And yeah. So, here it goes. Um, we're going to start off. And also, this has this also has a fan mode and a thermostat. It does not have the very infinitely variable control the Plumage Disc Furnace does offer. As a thermostat. Right now, it's on fan. It's just blowing around here. We're going to hit uh, low speed. Only the first set of elements, the set of elements closest to you, will light up. This heater does glow. This one heater does glow. And it's, the camera had a very, very hard time picking it up last time I tried it. So I didn't post a video of it glowing on YouTube. Because it was, it was bright, but the camera would not pick it up. Okay, so this is low heat. It's warm. I can put my hand right up here and I feel fine. Now high. Or not. 
now it gets now it starts to smell because they don't use it on high that often and if I put my hand here it gets uncomfortable they call this a personal heater but apparently it's a personal heater on steroids it's more of small room heater than it is a personal heater. It's hot. We will kill what? Test both these heaters? Now let's turn it off high and on the fan to blow the air off the coils. Then we're going to run this test again, but we're going to use the the kilowatt meter. And it's going to be cool. Actually, it's going to be very hot because the heater will be running. Alright, unplugged. I'm unplugging the Clonus disc furnace too. Hit watch. Alright, so the fan drawing. No, I'm just gonna put the camera back here. The, can't, the fan is drawing 15.2 amps. I mean, a what? Jeez. And low heat. Seven hundred and fifteen watts on low heat. And going down. And now it's at 708. This is the was there. No, 711. And high heat. 1325 watts. And now it's just all fan. And the heat is just getting blown off the coils because I turned it on to fan mode. Sometimes this little neon indicator will light up. I think there's a short in there somewhere. No, not a short because if it was a dead short, then this heater would not be running. All right, now that we've done that, let's unplug it. And I've tested the Polonis disc furnace on this. Um, and I just want to tell you in advance, I'm not going to do the test right now. I'm just going to plug it in. It will beep three times for some reason. I think it's because the voltage, the wattage spike is too much for it. All right, here we go on low heat. And there's already heat coming off of it. It smells a little bit at first because it's a disc furnace. Of course, it's only coming out about that much. Now we're ramping up to 55. Turn it up to about 60. About 60, we're getting heat out all the way out here. Now turn it up a little bit more. 65. And now full water just blowing the heat out like crazy. And my leg is very, very warm. Now I get fan. Speed will go up. Now it's all just heat being blown off of the coils after they've been de-energized. It's cooling down. That's not quite full speed.
And now it's off. And there's a bit of heat rating me off of it. And now we're gonna plug this thing into the uh the kilowatt meter. We're gonna see how much it draws. It's gonna beep, I'm pretty darn sure of it. <clears throat> Here it goes. It spikes up in wattage when it first starts. It goes really high. It skyrockets to like 17, like 23,000 watts. It's, at, it's stabilizing on low at 230 something watts. Between 240 and 230. Okay, let's turn it up to 55. And now we're getting 240. And now we're getting 250 after a little bit after 55, like 57. And now we're at 60. And we're getting about 417, meh. Actually, we're climbing a little bit. We're going up to 450. Seventy-eight, and it stays at about four hundred seventy-seven. And now we are at seventy, about, and we're getting six hundred some watts, six hundred and twenty-nine, six thirty-one, six thirty-four, six thirty-six, six thirty-eight, six thirty-nine, six forty. 642, 643, 644, 645, 643. I think it's gonna stabilize it around there, 643. And now we're gonna go straight up to high. And we're drawing 867 watts. 860, 873, 878, 882, 883, 885, 888. 889, 890, 891, 893, 892, 891, 892 again, 896, 895. I bet if I let this run for a while, it would climb up all the way to 1500, maybe. That's, wow, and it's at 900 watts, about. Stabilizing right below 900 watts. And there you go. Now we're going to hit fan. See how much the fan draws. 18.6 watts. 18.8. Well, it's a nice little heater. I really like the Polonis disc furnace. I'm gonna have to say, I think I'm gonna prefer the Polonis disc furnace over this because this only has a thermal fuse in it. No tip over protection. This is tip over protection and a ceramic disc and the thermal fuse. So it's got a lot more safety features. 
Even for 1989, this thing would have cost about $300 back in the day. And this thing would have cost maybe $30 today. And it's, but it's still metal. It's still all metal. So is this. This isn't even, this is just warm. If you notice though, there are heat marks. This here has been used a lot. And this is like the only one that I've seen on eBay that actually has these from use. But I bought it because it was the lowest priced and it looked the best to me. And it didn't have the box, which is good because I don't want the box. I'll only really want a box or something that's vintage if it's a GE product or something like that. Because I have a lot of GEs. I'm, I like Rick Swanson. He's one of the guys on uh, fan forums who collects GEs. I never realized he did for a while. I just thought the GEs were different. Anyway, um, back to the heaters. Um, we're gonna we're gonna unplug this watt meter because it's drawing watts itself. And we're unplugging everything. Here's the side of both heaters. Backs of both heaters. And there's your back of this, your other side of this heater. Doesn't really look too much different on this one either. And there's um, a video, uh, Polonis Disc Furnace versus Comfort Zone Heater. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.